Hello there, welcome to IT Security Labs. My name is Howard and today I'm back on Try Hack Me again. As you can see here, I'm on a streak. I have uh, gone up a little bit in my streak, 23 days, and I would like to complete another machine and share with you what that looks like. This one is called Committed. This is my effort to hopefully build on this skills matrix here, something better. With that, there's a machine called Committed. This one is a free, I believe it's a free machine. And it says one of the developers accidentally committed some sensitive code to a GitHub repository. So, well, at least that is what they told us. So we need to go and find out, can we extract secrets from a Git commit that has been deleted or that has been removed from GitHub if you're given a GitHub uh, file? So the first thing that we need to do is start the machine. And as you can see, I already have started it. There's similar um, co content here that I would have to check. But once you launch this and you connect to the machine, this is what you see. We have a folder called committed.zip. I like to interact it with it from the terminal. So I think... Uh, it's in committed. If I do an ls here, let me do quickly an unzip committed.zip. Let's see what we have. All right, so we have a lot of files in here. This is typical of a Git repository or GitHub repository if it's given to you. Let's see what we actually ended up with ls minus la. All right, so we ended up with a committed folder inside of that. ls minus la. All right, so we have main.py, then we have uh, readme.md. Then we also have this .git. Let's see what's in main.py. I don't think we'll be seeing secrets in here because it looks like once someone commits a secret, they delete it. So this is just a main function. Uh, in Python to connect to my SQL, there is no password here. However, from my experience, if someone deletes a commit, commi most of the commit history can be extracted from this dot git. If this was part of like an advent of the cyber challenge or something like that. So let me let me steal this file from here, bring it to my Kali Linux, and then run as git extractor tool to extract everything including the contents of dot git so there's a tool that we can use here in a second so first ipa this is going to be 10 10 can i do python 3 minus m http the server on 80. all right permission denied let's start with sudo hoping we have sudo Okay, so it doesn't like my port 80. Let's use 8080. All right, so now let's go to my Kali Linux machine. Sign in. All right, so in this folder, it's empty. I can do wget http, there's that here. So our port was 8080 and it was committed.zip. 8080. So .zip, I hope. I just get it right away. All right, I'm in luck today. So if I do an ls, I now have committed to zip. So instead of using unzip, which might uh, just give us the same results, we can unzip and use git tools. In this case, I can say unzip, committed to zip. I now have a folder called committed with the same contents as my previous folder. Now I need to look up Git tools. All right, so if you go to GitHub, you'll see Git tools. That's the tool that we're going to be using. This actually allows you to extract committed history from the Git file. So we'll copy that, let's clone it here. Assuming you have Git on your attacker machine. There is an extractor.sh script in here somewhere. Okay. 
I believe it's in the extractor. Extractor the SH is already executable. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to run that extractor.sh against, I believe, this. Okay, let's go back to Git tools and read more about it. So here's the usage. Uh, I want the extractor because I'm, I'm after the dot .git. We have git dumper here. My git repo. Okay, so we need to extract the git repo to, let's just put it in the temp the same way. Okay, I'm going to use the same syntax here. Where a dot .git directory needs to be there. It needs to be there for you to use, use the extractor. Then this is the destination. All right. So here's my extractor.sh. Okay. My git repo is going to be in. If I go back one. So coming back here. So I'm in the extractor. I need to go back one more. I'm just doing some Linux stuff here. Then committed. There we go. But it's now going to go to temp my git repo dump. So I need to go there after hitting enter. Look at that. I'm now extracting the entire repo using git tools. Let's go to that location. So I'm now in my temp folder. As you can see, this is the contents of the repo. We have a few directories here. We can go through every single one of these and try to figure out what's happening. But we can also use uh, find, grab, depending on which one. Uh, let's do a grab. Minus I minus R. Then I. Minus R is going to do a request grab on every directory. I is going to be case insensitive. Uh, let's say... What are we looking for here? Oh, they didn't tell us. <laughs> Smart. This is the flag. Most of the, the tri me flag starts with THM. Or it could be flag. THM is three. So this is four. So it should say flag then. This is four characters. Hey. So let's go and look for flag. <laughs> On everybody. Who is here look at that found the flag which is password equals to flag i guess we could have looked for the word password but this grab command here gives us the flag so we can get the flag submit all right so we just completed a room called committed go ahead and share it on twitter if you don't follow me on twitter please go ahead and do so Otherwise, if you enjoy these Try Acme Rooms, please remember to like, subscribe, and I hope to see you every Sunday during our live streams. Thank you very much for being here, and see you later.